Welcome to the Oh My Makery tutorial in changing colours. So here's a sample knitted in garter stitch and I'm going to be adding this white yarn. So I'm on the right side of the work and I take the yarn I want to add and what I do is I loop it around my finger like that. And I move the yarn I'm changing colour from well and truly to the back of the work. So then I'm going to knit and I take it and I just loop it like that. And then I take the white, so the, I'm holding the white and the yellow in my left hand and I knit a stitch and I pull it tight and then I knit another one. So I've changed colour. Now these two might get a little bit unruly but that's okay we just hold them there and we just continue so I'm going to knit the whole row and then you knit for as many rows Now this technique really only works if you're doing just say two rows. It, it doesn't really work if you're doing wider stripes just because you end up with a bit of a pucker up the side. So here's my white yarn. I'm just going to knit. Now if you're in garter stitch, unless you want to make a little bit of a feature of the changing in yarn, you're always going to want to change yarn on the right side of the fabric and the reason for being, can you see that, is if you change on the wrong side, so if you change on this side you'll end up with that little stitch effect showing through on the right side, so unless you really want that, then always make sure you're on the right side. Now you can see these two tails here, you've got the tail going off to the yellow yarn and where you started. So you just pull those in a little bit, and there you have changed colour. So just say now you only wanted a, tight, a thin strip of the white, and you could do another white row, it would take that. But I'm just going to change colour now. I'm going to need to untwist these, and that's one of the things that happens sometimes when you're doing two colours. So here's my yellow yarn. And here's my white yarn. I'm going to move my white yarn now out of the way like I did with the yellow. And I simply knit the yellow. Now, if we look here, the white yarn is still attached just like the yellow was. So if I'm doing, say, a yellow and white stripe all the way up, I will just keep repeating that all the way up. And the only thing you've got to watch out for is that the balls of yarn can get in a little bit of a pickle. It's not the end of the world. You just sometimes have to spend a little bit of time sorting them out. And you'll find your own best method of keeping the yarns untangled so here we are going back and I'm going to show another change and the same would be true if you're knitting in stocking stitch or any stitch always make note though of what side the pattern tells you to change colour on because like I say it can be important you don't necessarily want those little white stitches as you see here poking through on your finished piece of work sometimes they can be quite nice so again I'm going to change color so I'm going to move the yellow out the way and I'm going to come back to the white Holding the yellow out of the way, I'm just going to knit. Okay, and that is 
as simple as it gets. Obviously, and you can do that as a feature. So once you've got to grips with any of these patterns and perhaps you've got some yarn left over, but not quite enough to make a whole project, it's a really good way of finding some nice complementary colors and giving the patterns your own twist. <laughs>